Welcome to another Game Boys Ross video, guys. Today, as you guys can see, another episode of the Carbines, episode 49, which is wicked, nearly up to episode 50. So, yeah, getting awesome. So, thank you guys for coming in. Uh, on this episode, you'll see me get some great stuff that I got way back, way back, when I literally just passed my driving test, which is back in April. So, it's probably like uh, May or something like that, I don't know. But it was when the car boots were getting great um, last year, you know, when they were just starting. And I lost this memory card for a good, I don't know, a good while. And I was getting, I've been getting really pissed off that I've not found it. Um, luckily, I found it once we moved. So I've been looking through some boxes and I found it in a box, um, which must have got put in, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I found it, which is the main thing. And I found... Three Game Boys on this one weekend, so Saturday and Sunday I did a car boot, and it's epic. I'm really ha happy that I found this, and I can show you guys now. Um, these are just two weekends, or they see Saturday and Sunday, sorry, just one weekend of car boots, car booting, and you're going to see my finds this one. I did really well, I think. Well, I I, I feel like I did really well. Uh, let me know, let me know what you think when I uh, show you these clips. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoy this one, sit down relax, thank you for everyone who subscribed to this channel and who has uh, been commenting, it's been great to see some new people coming in and some new comments and stuff, so thank you and thanks for waiting for this episode to come out and here it is, there will be another one out shortly, um, but this is the one I've just made and I hope you guys enjoy it, so stick around, relax and uh, I'll see you then, thank you guys. First car boot guys you can see is a Saturday car boot and let's see what we can find here. So the first store I come across actually at this car boot, which was awesome, was a Game Boy. It wasn't just one Game Boy, it was two. There was a bunch of good games as well. Not a bunch, probably about three or four, I can't remember. Uh, this was a while ago, as, as you guys know. Um, and I'm so happy I found this footage. And this is a really good find that I found this, um, this weekend. Uh, it's really good to find some awesome Game Boy bits. So yeah, you'll find out how much um, I get them for. How much, uh, how much are these? Um, what would you be prepared to pay for them? I don't I know. them to all go together really. Um, 10 quid isn't it? Yeah, ten yeah. Pound, yeah. Fine, yeah. What size is the little green jacket? It's a black and white dress, £2. The green jacket, Green size? jacket, Mum. What size is the green jacket? It says 14 principles, but it's a bit on the small side. Okay. Thanks for that. Thank you, cheers. So £10 for all those was really awesome. I offered her that and she took it, so really happy with that. Um, I got a good good price for them, and uh, yeah, they're definitely in my collection. One of them's actually gone to Herbie S007, uh, but the red one I've kept, because I haven't got that one. I see like some sort of Warhammer thing here as well on the stall, um, but I left that behind because I don't really know much about it. But yeah, let's head off to the next store, guys. So head off to the store, see... Like I think it's like a reserve thing, but a bunch of the same crappy titles like football and nothing great there. So I left them. Come across this one, some more PS2 uh, games, nothing there that I needed, so I left them as well. How much are your games? £50 each for the cases, mate, and uh, £10 each for the loose ones. Okay. I just saw there's a bunch of Spectrum games. I don't know anything about them, and I don't collect for it. They were a good price, 10p each, or the ones in boxes were a quid. 
really good price for money. Really wanted to fetch them, but I left them because I don't have any interest in them. Few games in there, nothing special. Uh, just digging through, see what they got. Just a couple of usual titles, you see. As you see here, yeah, just open this box up for this weird little device I found for like uh, PS1 and Sega consoles. Um, yeah, it looked interesting, so I thought I'd see what I can do and see if I can get this for a good price. And uh, we'll um, leave it here. So, yeah, it looked interesting, you see. It's, it's pretty cool. So, yeah, I'll um, leave it there and I'll be back in a minute. Will you do three quid on it? No. Wouldn't do four? Huh? Would you do four quid? Four now, four quid. Alright. Alright. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There you go. Cheers. How much is this? 50p. Alright. Thank you. I know this isn't really game related, but it looked really cool. And they're old BMX manuals or thingies to show you what parts you can get or something like that. I don't know. But they're really cool. I really like BMX then, and this is like the 80s BMX stuff. So, yeah, I thought, let's see how much I can get these for. Quite warm. How much are these? Right, how much are these animals? Um, I don't know. <laughs> we'll take three for the two. Why we take three for the two? Oh, wow. Brandon, three pounds for the two. Yeah. Yes, uh, please. Thank you. <laughs> There's five in it. What have I got to give you? Um, three pound. You three pound for the two in it. Three pound for the two. Two bits to, or, I'm sorry, you're busy. Five. Sorry, I didn't realise you were still. £3 for the two, and I've yeah, got to give you £2 change. Yeah, yeah that's correct. Thank you. How much are them, though? Um, that's it, guys. The carpet's done. Um, got a Game Boy, as you would have saw, two Game Boys for £10 with 
Pokemon Yellow and uh, Donkey Kong games and I think Dirt Mario Deluxe. We'll have a look in the car now. We'll check it out and see what I've actually got in it. And we'll uh, have a look. Well, hit the car then. So let's have a look. Um, what games I've got. Well, uh, I've got these cool little magazines actually. Um, or books, which are BMX, or BMX books, which I thought were quite cool, so I thought I'd grab those. They were £1.50 each. So, right, we would have saw that I got this uh, today. A little uh, sack boy. Alright, we've got the Mar Game Boy, which is not working, it needs, it needs some batches in, but it's quite a clean one. That was awesome for uh, the price I paid. Mario Deluxe. This is nice. Pokemon Pinball, another nice game. Awesome game, Pokemon Yellow. That was really nice to find that for that price. And then there is another Game Boy in there. Let's get this out. Another Game Boy. Uh, which is not working, needs batteries it looks like. Which is, yeah, needs new batteries. Really happy to get in that. That was the same price again. I got all for £10. Um, and it comes with a copy of Donkey Kong 3, which is a nice clean copy and I haven't got his colour of Game Boy which is nice so that's going to go straight to my collection. A nice case as well what come with it which is quite clean because I've got similar cases at, at home which is very, it's not a bit manky. Um, got one of them battery packs as well. And then we got this one which is another Game Boy case and it's got memory cards for the PlayStation 1 in it. Picked up a, um, what's this, what do you call this one? Like a uh, sort of like, I don't know, a foggy sort of one, I can't remember. Tinted, like black and a grey sort of colour. It's a clear one, so I've got that one in there. Um, we've got an unofficial one, which you can see there. A nice clear one, and then we've got a games own one, which is a very big and shitty one, so. All that for £10, which is nice. Um, so, yeah, uh, we're going to another car boot tomorrow, which will be a Sunday car boot. Hopefully, you guys um, will hopefully enjoy this one. And uh, oh, yeah, I did get this as well. You probably saw got that. And a weird um, thing as well, which is in the boot. Uh, big game thing, I don't know. But yeah, I'll uh, see you in the next car boot. Should be tomorrow's, which should be Sunday. So, see you later, guys. Now it's a Sunday car boot guys, see what we can do with a Sunday car boot and see if it's any good as the Saturday. How much are your games? How much are your games, Ian? Um, they're £2 each. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Really, thank, thank you, you very much. much. That was pretty awesome for a quid, a sealed game. Can't go wrong with that. So yeah, good little game as well. So really happy we're getting that little beast. How much are your games? Uh, five red pace, mate. Five, are you say? Yeah. All right. Looking at a few tiles here, as you can see, there's a few um, Xbox original games. Uh, the guy wanted, I think, uh, you'll come up in a minute, you'll see here in a minute anyway. But yeah, he wanted quite a high price for these, but uh, I only picked up one, I think, you'll see. And um, there's, yeah, there's a few cool little titles there, but I'm, as I know, I'm not really collected for the system. Um, at this time, I wasn't really going for it. I'm getting a couple now, but not as many. Uh, probably just the ones that come out on that system. But yeah, pretty cool. Good work. Yeah. Thank you very much. Take care. Would you do your 4 quid for that one? 4 quid? Yeah, I've got one, mate. Yeah. Change it. 
Yeah, thank you. Mm. How much is your iPod? iPod, three pounds. Yeah. Thank you. Nice little iPod for three quid. Can't go wrong with that. Um, doesn't even need a battery in it to replace, um, but that's not too hard to do. So yeah, pretty cool. Couple of tiles here. This lady's here a few times. I think I think I looked at the tiles loads of times now, and they're not in the right cases. The cases are wrecked, and yeah, they're not well worth not worth the money that she wants from either. So yeah, I just left them behind like I always do. <laughs> See, we bundle here. Nothing great. Um, yeah. I didn't even ask how much it was, wasn't interested. There's no good titles in there, so I left that. I just see, I'm digging through a big box of PS2 games, sorry. And yeah, there's a load in there. Some good titles, but I'm not really going for the PS2. I was interested in that game there, but I did not pick it up in the end. I just left them. But yeah, pretty cool. How much is it? Um, if you want that, two pounds. Okay, yeah, but. I don't know, what would you say compared to that? Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. So that's it guys, I've just done the first car beat of the day after Sunday and now I'm going to go off to the second and come back to this one after until people set up some more bits, people stop people coming in but go to the second one and see what we find. Um, so today as you've seen I got a Game Boy for two quid which is just mental. I don't know what's going on this weekend. Three Game Boys in one weekend. And, you know, I don't know what's going on, but I've got some good luck this week. And, um, so I've got this Game Boy in the history of that, as you want to see, for two pounds. She didn't even like, you know, she's all oh, you can have it for two quid. I didn't even offer anything. So I thought that was amazing. And it's in, it looks like it's in mint, really, really nice condition. Um, no corrosion inside here. As you can see, I hope I'm videoing, yep, I'm videoing. Um, it comes with this, I haven't actually got one of these. This is a uh, multi adapter, which I haven't got one of these. And I notice it's got this, which is very rare. A lot of them use, lose a little um, little bit there, what goes in there. But that for two quid was a steal, guys. Really happy with that. And as you would have saw, it came with Popeye 2, which I've already got that game. I've got all these games already. Uh, Super Mario Land, which is a classic game, you've got to have that game for the Game Boy. Tetris, which every Game Boy comes with, and Golf. So, really awesome to get that for £2. What a steal. Um, really, really happy with that. As we've seen, I picked up um, Star Wars as well, um, which was four quid. He wanted a bit too much for his games, but I got the most one, was like the Vibris one in there. And I, maybe some other ones in there, but I don't know. Uh, I didn't get on video, but I picked up. I might, I don't know, I might have got on video. I don't know. I think I, I might have did. 
I got a iPod, which um, they're quite sought out, you know, sought out, but they can be quite pricey. I know Jake from Richard Kim Hall is after an iPod, so if this one works fine, it, it's a go to him. Or well, I might just need a battery, oh, battery replacement. So that was good for three quid. Actually, I might plug it in now. Let's have a look if it actually works. Uh, I've got the my stereo here. I should have the wire. Where, where's the wire? What plugs into the? Don't know what I've done with it. Uh, should be a charge of wires on my, on my iPod but I don't know what I've done with it it could be in the back seat somewhere and all this crap there we go it's here chucked it in the back for some reason so I'll change this to USB I'm going to plug this in here let's, let's see if it's got any action if it turns on yep sign of a uh, life a good thing. I need to turn my open window up, it's a bit hot. So yeah, that's sign of life. Let's open my window. I'll go to the second copy. There we go, it's working. Oh shit. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just playing music now. Uh, I'll probably leave it on. <laughs> Might as well, it's got a good tune actually, that's a good tune. But yeah, um, thanks for watching guys. We'll see you at the second car boot and then I'll be back here in a bit to see what else I've got here so yeah thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in a bit so there we go guys at the second car boot and uh, see what we can find here hopefully there's some good stuff lock my door because I always forget to do that there we go Let's see what we can find at the Sainsbury car boot now, and yeah, I whizzed it up a bit because it was pretty shit. Um, but uh, I'll show you the bits I do see in it, as always. So I'll come across store in a second, and you'll see me pick up something which is pretty cool. And yeah. <laughs> so. No, thank you. Are, you. are these 30p each though? Yeah. Thank you. So I've got a cool little slimer there, guys. Pretty cool slimer. Uh, not bad for only 30p. So, yeah, grab that for 30p. Another little boost round. Uh, wasn't a lot else. Uh, I do come across a store in a second that has Pokemon cards, but they were like individually priced and yeah it wasn't what I was wanted to pay so we we'll, yeah I'll show you now Well, that was wank, guys. That was uh, pretty shit. There's nothing there today. All I got was a, a, a Slimer for 30p, which is pretty cool. We need a tag. And um, I don't know if you saw it. I'm a hand probably over the camera of it, but could people looking at it. Um, the sort of guys selling Pokemon cards are loaded of the same cards, but they were individually in priced, I think, because I looked at the one on the back, which was like a rare shiny, and it was only five quid for it, so. Didn't bother asking because I wasn't desperate for them. And yeah, so head back to the next car boot. Um, see if we can find back at the other one because usually I find some of us want to go back after. But it's always worth a come, worth a, worth coming and uh, seeing what I can find. But yeah, as I said, I've got this Slimer. Actually, what we saw on video already when I picked it up, which has got the tag still. Um, don't know what it does and if it does anything. 
No, just a slammer. Don't know what year it's from. Uh, 2011, so it's quite a modern slammer, but yeah, pretty good. So I'll uh, see you at the next car beat. I'll set my back to the car beat. A few Xbox games you saw there, uh, nothing there I needed, I think I've got the one that I had, what I was actually opened up and looked at, but um, yeah, didn't need those, so I left them. Playstation 2 games. Oh, how much are the games? Uh, apparently 20. Oh. That's a case Big Axe, that one, the modern one. Oh, five. Thirty-five. Fine with that. Yeah. 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 So there's just cases in this case, just cases. I don't, I don't know what they are, matey. I've just <laughs> I've picked them up. Like you say, right. there might be some in there, there might not be. There's all these. Alright. Just have to look right through them, mate. No? No, that means well. No, mate, it wasn't any cheaper than a five. See you know what I mean, Jeff? They don't want to pay for anything. Do you know what I mean? They won't go any cheaper than a fiver. But leave it alone then, put it down. That I tell you, so I paid 30 quid for it about yeah, 20 yeah. years ago. But yeah. it was Swedish apps. Yeah. It was good. It's, it's got a history shaft in it. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. You ready, mate? Might see you later, mate. See you later, Jeff. This was fun going through. Really enjoyed going through this box of all sorts of games and stuff in here, cases. Um, this guy didn't even claim, though, didn't know what you had. Um, just some cases I got there for a good you see me getting for a good price in a bit and uh, yeah I'll see something else later you see Where's the cool thing? Fifteen, mate. Fifteen. All fifteen. Yeah. These ones are just cases, but I'm interested yes. in them anyway. Um, and these are games. What would you do for them? They're just cases. Yeah. But I'll, I'll take them anyway. Yes. Uh, and they've got games in. Just four questions. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. Is that right, yes, but. Uh, Thank right. you very much. Thank you. Really happy to get that for four quid. I do come back to his store later and he has a laptop which is a gaming one and it does need fixing but you see me get it and uh, it's pretty cool as well so you see that. Back on it the same bloody thing I've gone off at. You how much is this? Uh, how much is Alan's back now? Uh, he wants 15 though. Alright. Um, uh, 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 Let's see, uh, a couple more games back at this guy again. 
and he um, I'm actually looking through his bag to try and find the charger for his laptop I mentioned just a minute ago um, I do not actually find a charger for it but um, I'll leave the footage in because it's quite interesting to me digging through a bag of all sorts there was controllers now as well but you know This might be, I don't know. I don't know if that's a problem. I don't know, I don't know if it is. It. I'll just take it out and I don't want to oh, nice. think it was it. Okay. Too close for okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers. That was awesome guys. Laptop for two quid. Uh, it does need um, reformatting and I can't really do it because it's got a BIOS password and I do not know the BIOS password to do it. So it's worth some money in parts definitely worth some money in parts but for two quid i couldn't leave it there sadly didn't have the charger for it but i did get one up pick one up um early in earlier on after this video and it does power on but as i said it needs a bios and code i don't know it and it needs formatting and all this but yeah but yeah it's cool so right guys that was it um as you've seen i've got some more um stuff uh, I've got some DS cases and um, a couple of games as well. So I thought I'd give it a go for the price I was asking for. Four quid for them. Not too bad. I'll show you in the car. And we'll uh, then head off because I think I'm done for today. Um, I'll put right, I, bought, I even bought laptop maybe it could be fucked but last last time last week i brought a universal charger with different ends on it and that could work for it i don't know so i thought it could be fucked but 
I don't know, two quid, you, it's, it's nothing. So I could just, if it, if it doesn't work, I can take it to a car boot again and sell it again. Sell it for the same price and get money back. So yeah, as I said, I brought this, probably fucked. But it's nothing, it's not really good, mate. It needs a really good clean. The screen doesn't look like, doesn't look like it's cracked, so that's another good thing. It could be useful just spare for spares spare or repairs. And I like this little design here, it's quite cool. I was just thinking for using for like a gaming. It's got Windows Vista on it, uh, which is, isn't, the very, isn't the best, but it's worth a try. And the things I got from that guy, you would have seen, he had some really dirty controls in that bag. Um, but I've got some good little, good stuff here, as you see, I've got a Mario Kart box, which is actually, I need this because I re recently picked up a Mario Kart, uh, dusty car only, so this will make, give it a bit more value, so that's really nice to pick up that. Uh, and then I picked up Warrior Wear, which I don't, I don't think I have this game, so if I ever find the cartridge, I've got the box ready to go. Um, Super Mario... Uh, D uh, Super Mario uh, 60, 64 DS. This one doesn't have the manual, which is a bit annoying. I might have been in that box, I couldn't see it. But that was nice. That was the uh, one I haven't got. Oh shit. And then the last one I got was a, it's a demo of what comes with the DS when it was new. Um, I thought we'd get that as well, it could be just useful for the case. Um, so that was nice. And then I've got uh, a couple of games from him. Um, got Ratchet and Clank, this one. Or oh, Clank, I haven't got this one. So I thought it's complete. Don't know what the distance condition is like. Uh, it's a bit filthy, but be alright. And I've got this game I've never seen. It's Capcom. Uh, never heard of it. It looked really interesting. Uh, like a, Sort of like a gang game. So I thought I'd grab that. Hope you guys can see it. Again, game as you can see, complete. And what's a disc like? Pretty dirty, but it should work fine. And then I picked up this. This is a still book of Halo Wars, which I've never actually played Halo Wars. So, so I thought I'd grab this for a couple of quid. Or it wasn't even a couple of quid. It was a bundle. Hopefully, it's got all discs in there. It's, um, it's got one disc I see, and the disc is a couple of scratches, but not too bad. There's a couple of um, Halo threes in the box. In the bag um but they look really fucked and i've got a hair for here anyway so yeah not bad so never played head of wars it's apparently not really good but add to the collection because i like a bit of halo so i think that's all the halos i've got now no i need a halo odst but yeah so and then look, there's a there's a harry dog over there but yeah um should be pretty good so yeah that's it guys and i'll uh, go up to i don't know do i need two pickups now Probably not, but I'll do it. You see me in a minute talking about it, so talking about stuff. So yeah, cinnamon.